In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the leaping stripe stitch. Looks quite complicated actually once you get going with it it's really easy. It's a two row repeat but it, the, it's only the starts and the ends of the row that are really different. The rest of it is very similar and it does look very similar on the back to the front. Gorgeous stitch would be a great one for blankets because there are very few holes in there, especially for a baby blanket. I could see that working out really nicely. So let's have a look at the tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm going to use two colours. You can use uh, as many colours as you want or you could just have one colour. Um, I quite like the effect you get with the two colours. So I've chosen my favourite colour combination of pink and grey. I have, these are DK yarns, I have a four and a half millimetre hook just because I want a little bit of give in it. So choose a corresponding hook to the size of yarn that you have chosen. I have scissors to cut off my end and darning needle to sew in my end and a stitch marker just in case I need one. So we're going to start by making a foundation chain. I'm going to start with a slip knot. You can do that in whichever way you prefer. And our foundation chain needs to be made in multiples of four plus an extra two at the end for turning chains. So yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. That's one chain. Yarn over, pull through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pause the video now whilst you make your foundation chain in multiples of four and I shall see you at the end. So I've finished my foundation chain. I'm just doing a sample of 20 chains here. And now I'm going to do my extra two. That's one and two and I'm ready to start row one. Now row one begins in the fourth chain from the hook so we never count the one on the hook so we've got one two three four and in there I'm going in with a treble that's UK terminology in US that would be a double so yarn over insert yarn over pull through three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do a treble in the next chain now. So yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So it looks now like we have three trebles at the start of our row. We're then going to skip two chains, one, two, and to travel over those skip chains, we're going to chain two. So chain one, chain two. These are our skipped two. And in the next stitch, we're going to do a treble. And in the next stitch, we're going to do a treble. And we chain two, one, two and we skip two, one, two, and we do our two trebles again. So it's treble, treble, chain two, skip two. So continue all the way down your row till you get to your last chain and I shall show you what to do at the end of the row. So pause the video now. So I've just come to the end of my first row. I have one chain left and in that chain I'm going to do another treble. Remember that's UK terms, that'd be a double in US. So you start and end the row with three trebles. This turning chain counting as the first treble. Now we're going to continue in the same colour. So if you're wanting to change colours, you change colours every two rows. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. The chain one doesn't count, therefore we're going to work into that very first stitch there. And we're going in there with a double crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip the two trebles that are here, so skip the next two stitches. And we're going to work our two trebles in the next space. 
And we're not going to work into the space, we're actually going to work into the chains from the previous row. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the first skip chain from the previous row, go behind the two chains you've made and bring that stitch up. So we, we don't want to pull the bottom up too, up too much but equally we don't want floppy stitches either. So that's one and this will sort of equal itself out as you move through the piece. And then go into the next chain with the treble, pull that stitch up and then complete your treble. Chain two, one, two. That chain two is to travel over those two trebles from the previous row. And then we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to put a treble in each of the chains from the foundation chain. So we yarn over, insert into the first skip chain, yarn over and pull through, pulling that stitch up so it's not too tight. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then the next one, we do exactly the same. So continue all the way down the row. So you're chaining two, skipping the trebles and then putting your trebles into the foundation chain. And join me just before the end of the row and I shall show you what to do at the end. So I've come to the end of my row, I've done my last two trebles into the two remaining chains. I'm going to chain two, one, two, skip over these two trebles here and in the top of that three chain from the start, very start of our work, we're going to put one double crochet. Remember that UK terms, that would be a single crochet in the US. And that's the end of the first part of the pattern. Now if you want to change colour, this is where you can change your colours. So to change colour, I'm just going to undo that double crochet from the previous row. And I'm going to redo it. So I'm going to insert, yarn over, pull through. And then instead of yarning over and pulling through to finish off, I'm going to pick up my new yarn, hook it round and then pull it through to finish off that stitch. Now you have a choice here, you can either tie off your ends um, and weave them in later or you can carry them up the side of the yarn. It's entirely up to you how you want to do that. Um, if you have more than two or three colours, it might end up getting a little bit bulky on the side because um, you're carrying up three or four different uh, threads. So I'll leave it up to you to decide obviously but you know just something to think about when you're coming to do the next change of colour if you're doing more than two or three colours. Okay then for row three then we're going to chain one, turn our work. The chain one does not count therefore we're going to work into that very first stitch and we go in there with a double crochet. Now we immediately come to our two chain space from the previous row. So instead of, as before we worked into the chain, we're going to work into the top of the treble stitches here. So we don't need to chain two because we're already at it. So yarn over, insert into the first part of the stitch. Now if you look closely, you'll see that belongs to that stitch and that belongs to that stitch. So we're going into the very first one, yarn over, pull through, make sure it's not too tight, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we do again in the next treble, and then we chain two. So it's very similar to the previous row, it's just the way we start and end the rows that is slightly different. We've chained two which means we can travel over these two trebles and then we're going to work in the next two trebles. 
So yarn over, working into the first travel with a travel, and then working into the second travel. Chain two, skip these two trebles and we're going to work into the top of the next two trebles from two rows below. That's one and that's two. Chain two and we're going to work all the way down the row in exactly the same way until you come to your last two stitches and I will see you at the end of the row. So pause the video now. So I've just worked my last two trebles in the last two chain space. I've got one stitch left now and in there I'm going to do a double crochet. Remember UK terms of a single in US. So finish my double crochet and that is row three complete. Chain one, turn our work. Chain one doesn't count, therefore we're going to work into that very first stitch. We go in with a double crochet. And then on this row we're skipping over the two trebles so we need to travel over. So we're going to put two chains in and then we're going to do our trebles into the next two chain space. Chain two, skip the two trebles, work trebles into the next two chain space. Chain two, then work into the next two chain space and continue that all the way down the row until you get near the end and I should show you what to do at the end. So pause the video now. So I've come to the end of this row. I've got three left. I'm going to, sorry, three stitches left. I'm going to chain two that travels me over the two trebles and then in the very last stitch going to finish with my double crochet. So insert yarn over, pull through and if you're changing colour you want to drop your working yarn, pick up the new yarn and finish off that stitch in the new yarn. And just tighten that up a little bit. So then we go back to row three for the repeat. So we chain one and we turn. Chain one doesn't count, therefore we're going to work into that first stitch with a double crochet. We're immediately at our chain space, so we don't need to chain two to start. We go straight in with our trebles into the next two trebles from two rows below. Chain two, skip two and then work our two trebles. Making sure you're not pulling them too tight otherwise it will distort the work. Chain two, skip two and we just repeat rows three and four all the way till we get the work to the length that we want. So I'm going to work up a few more rows for you to see how it looks and I shall see you in a moment. So I've just worked up a few more rows for you to see how it looks and now I've sort of come to the end of my piece and I don't really want to have these two chain spaces as part of my work. I'd like it to be solid like it is along the bottom. So I'm using the same colour as I started with to do my finishing off. So I've done row one of the colour and now I'm going to chain one, turn my work. I'm not going to, this chain one will count, so I'm not going to work into that very first stitch. I'm going to work into the top of the next stitch. So instead of chaining two, I'm going to do a double crochet in the top of each of those trebles. 
Then I'm going to do my two trebles into the two trebles from the row below. Oops. So that's one and two. Then I'm going to work two double crochets into the next two trebles and then do my two trebles in the row below or two rows below sorry and you see that that just finishes off the work we have there the same as it is at the bottom so wherever you have solid trebles you're going to do a double crochet into the top of each of those And wherever you have your two chain space, you're going to fill it in as we've done before with your trebles from two rows below. So double crochet into the top of the trebles. I have a pen sitting on my yarn then. And then treble into the ones two rows below and then when you get to the end you've got three stitches at the end and you just do your three trebles just to finish off the piece and there you have your worked up stitch so you can pull your yarn cut off the end and you're good to go So just having a little closer look and see how beautiful that is in the two colours and I'm sure if you have lots of different colours it will look just as beautiful. If we turn it over because it's a two row repeat using the colours it is slightly different but only to those who would know. So that's how to do the leaping stripe stitch. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps YouTube to show it to other crochets and to help our channel to grow. If you enjoyed seeing my Yeehaw Cowboy Girl stitch marker today, this is one of my Kawaii stitch markers, which I will link somewhere around the screen. Uh, and it'll also be linked in the description below. Uh, you can also buy it in my Etsy shop, which I will link in the description below too. I shall pop two more videos on the side of the screen to help you on your crochet journey and I shall see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!